I grew up in the 1970s when all comedy had audience laughter and we all laughed at the same things. And so did Ben Elton, whose good sitcoms The Young Ones and Blackadder also had audience laughter. Which is not canned, by the way. As a former writer on Not Going Out I know it's a risky strategy, as critics don't like being told when to laugh. But it suits a certain type of comedy. This type. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Just... What is it? I don't really know another way of saying it. Um, I don't know what it is. It's a foot spa. Oh, right. Rory Kinnear, the son of an actor from some of my favourite studio audience sitcoms of the 1970s, bringing actorly subtlety to his role as the foil in Count Arthur Strong on BBC Two. You know, a spa for your feet. Uh, you know what a spa is, don't you? It's where you go to relax and uh, have towel dressing gowns and a bar. It's like that, except your feet go to it. <laughs> and there's no bar. Unlike The Right Way, this unashamedly old-fashioned studio sitcom came with bags of goodwill, as it was developed from character comedian Steve Delaney's long-running Radio 4 show with studio sitcom's greatest champion, Graham Linehan. Well, actually, I, I'm an author. I thought your name was Michael. <laughs> it is. I'm an author. Arthur Strong. Oh, no, 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 no. I am an author. I am an author. <laughs> what are you talking about? Count Arthur Strong divided Twitter, comedy's all-seeing oracle, right down the middle. Nobody quite liked it. Some hated it, others chuckled throughout at the malapropisms that have always been at the heart of Arthur's dithery charm. Oh, a writer, eh? Ho, ho, ho! And what books have you authored? Um, um, sorry. <laughs> What books have you Michael? Fictionally, he's a relic from another age, which is far easier to suspend disbelief for on the radio. On TV, the artificiality is exposed. Look, it's a pensioner who dresses like it's the 1970s, played by a man in his 40s in a hardboard cafe. So you either run with it, or you run away from it. Uh, no. <laughs> My question for the group is this. Would comedy improve if Twitter's snap judgments influenced comedy commissioning policy? or? Should broadcasters have the courage of their own conviction? Discuss. Oh, and don't say that Comedy A is unfunny because you don't find it funny.